Hi, this is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking. Okay, so I'm back again, and this is layout three of Stitch Together. So this one has lots and lots of die cuts that are cute, but it's a lot of die cuts. I was kind of hoping that I could use the layout, the, uh, the way they are in the um, carrier sheet, to just kind of turn them over and put glue on them and flip them onto the paper. But that doesn't follow the rainbow pattern that they're using um, on the layout. So, oh well, there went that idea. That was, that was... So I'm just looking at the instructions here um, of how to, how to do the layout. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm making piles of all the colors, just to keep it simple. So we've got all the pinks and the salmons and the reds and the sapphire blues and the uh, kind of aqua blue, um, some more, and then that's almost like a sweet leaf green and a lemonade yellow. Very pretty, pretty color. So they're going to be kind of sort of rainbow pattern-ish, sort of, but not really. And what you're going to notice, okay, so these are all the same shape, and I don't know what you call them. It's sort of like a, a star, so it's like three, four, five, six, seven, an eight-sided star. I don't really know what to call that shape. And what you find is when you do the regular layout and you keep everything lined up, then the stars themselves make another shape kind of a negative space shape. So it's kind of fun, kind of makes your eyeballs go a little crazy. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my ruler and I'm very lightly making a line with my pencil at a half an inch. So the uh, stars are going to start at half an inch uh, from all around. And I thought I could do a nice regular maybe going down the side, but they're like an inch and an eighth. So I'm going to have to sort of use my eyeballs, kind of. I was really hoping for an easier fix. But, uh, and I am doing the layout just as they do it in the kit. So the way I'm doing it is I've got one of the points pointing directly up and another point touching the pencil line. And then another point is going to be on the, um, I have to make a, a mark at an inch, I think an inch and a quarter. And that's actually going to be, I thought it was going to be for the stars, but it's not. It's going to be for the layout. I mean, uh, the title. Um, banner. So I'm just kind of making sure that the point is directly up and that the points line up with the one on the other side of it. And so you can kind of see it kind of makes an hourglass negative shape. So you can kind of look at the negative shape to kind of see that you're you're staying lined up. So it's really, it's easier than it looks. It looks like it's going to be, you know, tough to do. But as long as you keep your points lined up, then, then you're good. And so I'm just doing my layouts here. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm putting the colors where they need to need to go. So it's, it's a diagonal, you know, it's a straight across, but it's, it's a di diagonal color pattern. So you've got all sorts of patterns. Go See how it makes that little four, like a four-leaf clover or something? I don't know what to call it. But the negative space is cool, too. And don't stare at it too long because it'll make your eyes go wacko. So I'm just really trying to, the big thing is to line up your points so they're, 
you've got everything all straight. Because I think if you just kind of did it wonky, uh, I think that it would probably not look so good. So this way you've got, you know, your patterns are all neat and doing what they're supposed to be doing. So I don't know who's, who comes up with these ideas. My goodness, their brains work harder than mine does. I like the colors. I love the colors, actually. And I love the that sweet leaf green next to the, maybe, maybe it's a lagoon, kind of a light lagoon, maybe. Um, anyway, I really, really do like the, actually, I could probably look it up tell you exactly what color it is but see it's not so bad and you know you can see the patterns develop in the negative space and you know if something is going kind of wonky then it just needs some minor adjustments I mean I'm not the good thing about Tombow permanent adhesive is it's really not permanent until it's been there for a while. So initially, it's uh, you can move it, move it around without pulling pulling the paper all apart. And so what I'm doing now is I kind of decided instead of shooting out into the white open nothingness, I'm going to line up my stars around the edge of the paper. So that way, you know, you are lining things up with the original pencil marks, making the interior pieces a little bit easier to, to put together or to line up. If that makes, if that makes sense to you. So, so by me doing this and you watching, hopefully you'll learn, <clears throat> excuse me, some easier ways of doing this by watching me trying to figure out how to do it. So I'm kind of trying to keep, keep with the color while I'm, you know, lining up all my points. Now see how the, the negative space shapes are really starting to show up? That's kind of fun. I mean, it's kind of fun. It's just like in the uh, layout too. So we were taking triangles and we were making negative space squares with, with the triangles. I mean, you know, I'm not a math person, but I really think that's very cool. So there we go. There's the colors coming together, and they really, everything, it makes sense the way it's going together. And it, it's running a diagonal pattern from top left to lower right. So that, that's kind of a Moroccan shape, that negative shape. Maybe it, maybe it has something to do with the Moroccan like Moroccan tiling or whatever. Anyway, love that. That's cool, right? Okay, so the next one is more of the same, except different colors. The colors are going to continue. Whoop. Little blip. So I hope that you can see, if, if I'm kind of doing this, that you can see that this is something that you can do also. And, uh, you know, I just kind of decided, which I think I said in one of my videos, that um, it kind of hit me that my grandmother, my great-grandmother made quilts. I'm sure my grandmother did too. My grandmother made all sorts of stuff. She made a lot of dresses. She and my mother did a lot of a lot of sewing. I mean, they were out in West Texas during the Dust Bowl and so they were doing a lot of sewing and mom continued it on. She uh did a lot of sewing for um 
people in hospice. And, uh, you know, she would make them some clothes as their sizes were changing. And, uh, you know, she enjoyed sewing. She made clothes for my sister and I as we were growing up. And much to my sister's dismay, she made, she was four years, she is four years older than me. So we were wearing the same clothes, um, even, even though she was four years older than me. But they were fun clothes. And, uh, you know, Mom made, made um, about when, uh, oh gosh, this is in the 50s, she made ballerina tutus for all of the cousins, all of the girl cousins. Actually, there was only girl cousins. My brother was the only boy, poor guy, in the in the family. So all the girls got ballerina tutus for Christmas one year. I mean, so all these little girls were running around in their little tutus. I mean, <laughs> she made some really fun fun things. She knew how to make. She made fun birthday cakes for us and. So um, she did a lot of sewing with, with her mother. And I am going to, I've got some clothes that my grandmother made. And I don't know whether, I don't know how I'm going to photograph them, but I think that I will use these pages uh, for my great-grandmother's quilt. So I've got to lay it out on my bed to take pictures of it because I have it, you know, I have it squirreled away in a... Um, container so I don't even I haven't even laid the whole thing out yet to see what it looks like but that's going to be fun to make pictures of those things and pictures of the clothes that my grandmother um, made that uh, after after she died I took some of the things that she made and kept them because they were really intricate I mean I don't know how the heck she made these teensy little pleats you know and they, it's not like there was the, uh, you know, multi-thousand dollar machines then. This was all just a, you know, straight sewing machine. No, no uh, fun stuff to it. So I think that would be a, a really fun thing to put on these, on these layouts. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. So you see how we've got the, the lines of color going again. So it starts off with the green and going to the yellow and the pink and the kind of uh, smoothie color, kind of the salmon smoothie color and the red and, and then the sapphire blue. And see, once again, you've got those negative shapes going, going there. I just think that's so cool. Shapes making and see how it lines up. Somebody knew what they were doing. And somebody here appreciates the heck out of it. So um, I am going to, they, the instructions had us cutting out this, you know, sapphire. What a beautiful color. Good grief. It's really gorgeous. It's just such a rich blue. So vibrant. And, of course, I didn't check, you know, whether they were going horizontal or vertical. My usual. Um, so I'm just putting everything down, my little photo holders in place. That makes me feel like I'm doing something when I've got the photo holders in place. Just so you know, if you wonder why I put those there. And I'm going to take, so these are the little, in the cutting guide that I did, these are the like two, two and a quarter um, by 12 strips that were cut, two of them. And so I'm taking my journaling pen, and uh, I think I'm going like a quarter of an inch in or so. You know, you may want to do like an eighth of an inch in uh, because I some of my dashed lines got covered up with the letters. But, you know, regardless, not all of them got covered up. So you can see that there it's kind of a stitch line that's going here. And, uh, you know, this is the easy way to, to hand stitch. <laughs> I 
I made a hole in my sheet today. I don't know what the heck I do at night, but I wore my sheet thin in one area, and I actually sewed it. My goodness. I never do stuff like that. I usually just throw it out and buy a new sheet. But it's like my favorite sheets. Okay, so you don't you didn't want to hear that. Um, this is the the more fun kind of hand stitching, doing it with a journaling pen than actually having to hand stitch. So you can just follow going across the points there. You know, you don't have to measure. I mean, we measured the one line already, and you're just putting that um, to run run through that if you can find it in between the, the uh, little stars. And this is a nice title. It's Friendship. Like the letters, I love the font. I love those long, I love that long R tail. And there we go. And P. Friendship. Nice. Okay, so yeah, this is when I discover that I did them. Instead of vertical, I did it horizontal. It doesn't really matter. I mean, good grief, Dorothy. You could have just kept it that way. So silly. So, and I'm using the color, the darker color of cardstock is showing up not the lighter color, because it's really vibrant and it really um, kind of matches the, the sapphire stars. So it's a strong, a strong color and it looks better with the uh, layout than the lighter color does. And I'm just kind of eyeballing to keep the points in line uh, equal um, coming out of the side of the uh, picture frame. So I'm taking, um, putting a cute little ladybug up there and I'm popping it up. Don't you love how we have stickers and then I'm not using the fact that it's a sticker. I use a pop-up door, pop-up uh, foam piece on it. There's something crazy about that. Oh, and the zip strip from the blue paper goes at the bottom. So that just adds so much to it, doesn't it? Because it's got the little flowers, little red centers. It really, really goes with it nicely. And so I'm taking some of the stick -em off and putting it down there. I have to tell you, I love the colors from this kit. This is a really nice kit. Hopefully there's some left if you haven't gotten yours. So we've got the flowers coming from the die, die cuts. I cut out the die cut piece that goes with layout three. And uh, that's going to go underneath the four by six picture. Just to add kind of a little rickrack touch to it. Zigzag, whatever you want to call it. Sewing, it's rickrack. but that's because it's pointed ends on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to pop up this pretty, pretty bouquet of flowers to stand up above the bottom of the picture. And I put Tombow on there, but I decided I wanted it to pop it up again. I'm kind of into popping up lately. Everything, give everything a pop because you know what? You want dimension. You don't want flat stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do my magic trick with the uh, shimmer pens to color my wood buttons. And then I'll put a little stick them on the back of it. I should just let them dry. I should do those. Yeah, I've got now I've got red all over my hands. See? <laughs> now I'll just after I squished it down, now I'll add some more red to it. And then I'll add some red to the hearts because you know you can never have too much shimmer. 
a lunatic. Okay, so here we go. Page two, coming to a close. And we're going to have two small ones on the outside and the big one on the inside. And that is going to go, it's like four, four and a quarter, four and a half, four and three-fourths, four and three-fourths. And at some point, and I didn't do it on, on video, but I've got to erase the uh, lines going around because that will bother me. Um, and I can use the eraser. It's not really an eraser. It's a glue remover, but it also uh, seconds as an eraser. So it's a little square um, rubber type thing that we've got that uh, will remove the pencil lines and it does great with glue. It takes the glue off like nobody's business. So I'm going to put the three by four is a little wonky, just a little wonky, not too wonky, just enough to make it interesting and throw you to say, you know, you shouldn't do everything so straight. And I'm adding a little Tombow to hold on to the the uh, little rickrack kind of bottom there. And I'm popping up the pictures on the outside, the two uh, three by fours. I'm just trying to fix it because it was on there crooked. There we go. And so that one's going to go on there a little wonky too. Not too wonky. Just a little wonky. And I'm going to make a bouquet here of flowers going hither and yon. Pretty spray of yellow flowers. Such pretty die cuts we got with, with this kit and, and stickers too. So pretty. I hope you all like these layouts. Um, I've really, really enjoyed them when I really didn't think that it was going to be something that was of my taste. And then I always find it, do this all the time. It's like, oh, I don't know that I really like that. And then I do it and it's like, oh my God, what, should, what, what was I thinking? So I hope that you, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and feel free to leave a comment and you can, you know, give me some helpful hints if you want to see me do something that you haven't seen before. Um, you know, I'll, if I don't know how to do it, I'll learn how to do it and show it to you. And, uh, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel and, uh, Leave a comment if you'd like. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. So this is just a way to, to help teach teach you how to, how to do things and to show you that you can do stuff too. So I like, I like this layout. So I'm going to make some more buttons and I'm going to use my shimmer pens. And if you haven't gotten the shimmer pen, so everything, all of the products are listed on the in the comments. And I've put things in there to, according to section, like tools are in one section. And then you can click on the tools and you will see all of the tools come up and you can kind of go through. Or if it's kits, I've done it all by sections of stuff. So the, here I've used the smoothie shimmer pen so it's not quite as as bright but it's perfect with the colors that are in this uh, kit so one more zip strip just a half an inch strip off of the headlined papers and these are journaling areas so I'm just putting them down uh, at the bottom so I can journal and put the dates in the who and what and why. So there we go. Oops. Extra flower.
have to put it down. Can't have anybody left over here. Fixing a corner, adding a flower. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any, there's my layout. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Thank you. Bye-bye.